splayed and quilled. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Last week I showed you how to install the use pen pressure button and uh, how to calibrate your tablet for better pressure sensitivity. This week I am going to show you how to edit a brush and make it a pressure sensitive for size only. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. The easiest and the simplest way for you to get the effect you want in Inferno 601 <laughs> is to use the pen pressure button we installed on the toolbar in last week's tutorial. Turn the button on and increase the size of your brush to at least 200 pixels. You can make it smaller or bigger of course. As you can see, uh, both ends are tapered and uh, depending on the amount of pressure you are exerting uh, with a stylus on your tablet, the lines uh, will be thicker or thinner. If you are not pleased with your brush strokes, uh, you may have to calibrate your tablet uh, just as I showed in uh, last week's uh, video. However, if you want to have more than one brush to ink your line art, allow me to show you and others how you can customize some very basic brushes to make them tapered and also pressure sensitive. We are going to work with a basic round hard to brush from the concept art and illustration brush pack. If you haven't already installed this bundle, I added the download link in the description box. Activate the use a pen pressure button. Click F5 on your keyboard to get to the edit brush settings. As you can see from the preview window, this brush was created to be pressure sensitive for size and opacity. If I trace a line in the scratch pad, the line will get thicker and darker as I exert more pressure with my stylus on the tablet. If the tip of this brush is too big for your taste, you can always decrease its size. Go to the brush tip, type 25 in the box for example and click enter. Using the scratch pad, test the size by tracing a line. If you like what you see, move on, if not, keep trying different sizes until you find the one you like. In order to make the brush uh, sensitive for size only, we are going to need to deactivate uh, the Enable Pen Settings parameter. Uh, for instance, uh, you will need to go through all the other modes listed on this side of the window. For instance, uh, here it is on for the Opacity mode. Look at what happens when I turn off the Enable Pen Settings parameter in the Opacity mode. The preview shows a completely opaque line. Now if I test it, as you can see, the line is evenly dark. I am going to continue all the way down and turn off all of the other parameters. Now that it is done, the only parameter active is for the size, meaning that this brush size will change depending on the amount of pressure exerted with a stylus on the tablet. As you can see in the preview window, the right side of the brush tip is not tapered. 
only the left side. To uh, taper the tip of a brush, uh, we need to move the edges of the curve down. Watch the preview window as I lower the right end of the curve. Now both ends of the brush tip are tapered, however we have a problem here. By doing this I created a very thin brush tip and I don't want that. I want some type of thickness to it. So to do so I am going to need to create a point in the center of the curve and move it up. So just like me, uh, look at the preview window and move your curve and stop when you are happy. Now the only thing left to do is to decide how thin or thick you want the ends of your brush tip. Here again, lift or lower both ends of the curve until you are satisfied. And then test. We are going to uh, clear the scratch pad because we want to uh, trace uh, clean lines uh, to create a thumbnail. Now click on save new brush preset. Rename the brush, maybe add your initials uh, at the beginning, this way it will be easier for you to find if you lose it. And uh, choose a load uh, scratch pad thumbnail. Now we are ready to ink uh, our sketch. So don't forget to activate uh, your stabilizer and uh, take your time and uh, as needed uh, don't forget also to uh, rotate the canvas We are going to create a brush following the instructions from the manual. Alright, so let's get to our brush preset. Set the tag to all. In the search bar type wet. And now when you find the basic wet brush, click on it. Let's see what uh, this brush looks like before we modify it. As you can see, when I try to mix uh, colors together, it doesn't really work. <laughs> the colors uh, just uh, get on the top of each other and that's about all. Click F5 to get to the edit brush settings. Go to the opacity parameter. Click the fade box and then and click the pressure box. We are going to change the direction of a curve. Make sure that the curve ends a little above the bottom right, otherwise the smudge won't work. In the manual they say that by doing so, this will make the color rate decrease and turn it into a smudge brush as the stroke continues. Click on a brush tip. Click on a predefined tab and in the search bar type uh, Angular. Now we are going to select uh, the default uh, A Angular Church HR brush tip. Now let's go back to the opacity options and this time we are going to adjust the fade length. 
type uh, 160 in the box and click enter. Go into uh, color rate and uh, turn off the enable pen settings uh, here. Click uh, the rotation uh, parameter and tick uh, pressure and tick uh, drawing angle. Now we're gonna tick the lock and uh, type 90 in the angle of set box and click enter. Now we are going to create a thumbnail. So in the scratch pad, we are going to paint uh, several colors and try to make this look pretty. <laughs> now we are ready to save our new preset. So click on save new brush preset. Rename the brush and as usual, maybe uh, add your initial at the beginning. and uh, choose load a scratch pad thumbnail. To paint a sculpt, uh, you usually uh, go back and forth between uh, opacity and flow settings of your brushes. However, here as you can see, we only have two options, uh, opacity and uh, size. Now, if you didn't already know, you can decide what is in the box just click on the little arrow located on the side and uh, here wherever to have the size I want the flow so I'm going to click on the plus sign button to activate flow setting and uh, to change the size of my brush now uh, the only thing I need to do is use the brackets uh, on my keyboard Let's paint a cloud. First, change your background to a darker color. And now choose any light color of your choice and start painting. You are going to play now between the flow, the opacity and the size settings of your brush. And this way you will be able to create beautiful shapes and forms All right, we are done for today. The next Monday, I will show you how to create a custom brush stamps. Take care and have a wonderful week. See you next time. Bye.